Millions of people will be getting tax refunds in the mail this year. The IRS says the average refund is close to $2,400. This morning, we have some advice on what you can do with that extra cash. Joining us now is Gina McKegg with McKegg Financial uh, with some ways that we can invest that refund. So what's the number one thing that you tell people to do with that cash? Uh, for, so first and foremost, uh, statistics are showing actually that that COVID pandemic caused a spike in consumer spending across the U.S. So if this sounds oddly familiar to you, your refund is a great opportunity to build up or build back up, if you will, that emergency fund. So making sure you set aside money into savings, build that money back up into your saving accounts. But what if you have debt? Um, that's, a, that's a great point. Yes. Um, great suggestion, Allie. If you have debt, it's a good idea to take a portion, um, if not all, of your refund and pay down any high interest debt specifically. Um, this could also mean paying down those student loans that are expected to be in requiring payments again, I think by May. And of course, a lot of people want to spend that extra cash, especially now with gas prices, uh, increasing prices, basically on everything at the grocery store. Why is it so important, though, to set some of that money aside and where should people put it? Well, this is a great opportunity to go ahead and invest into your retirement. Um, we need to keep the eye on the prize, right? Using a refund to open or even add to an existing retirement account is beneficial for a multitude of reasons, really. Uh, a Roth IRA might even prove to be a better fit for someone specifically. Uh, I would suggest meeting with a professional who can maybe have, help you navigate that best investment choice for your personal tax or investment strategy because um, it could be a game changer for this option of, you know, utilizing that tax return. Now, if you do meet with a professional, will they look at all of your financial standings, not just your 401k? Will they also look at your savings, maybe your mortgage and tell you where to put that money? That's a great question. So, yes, it's very, very important that um, we are looking at every opportunity to find someone who is specifically looking at the tax benefit, um, not only that tax benefit, but also those investment benefits because Roth versus traditional IRA investments or 401k investments could uh, vary greatly. Um, and so the person you should be working with should definitely have that expertise to take a look at the tax consequences or benefits. All right. Uh, Gina, thank you so much for being here with us this morning. Really appreciate your time. Great to be here. Thanks for having me. Of course.